Planning a wedding by yourself is a hard task. Planning a wedding with two kids, you don't have a babysitter, that's a harder task. Planning a wedding with two kids and the coronavirus and it's like impossible. This day means so much to me because we've gone through all the things that we've gone through and we still actually love each other. Dude, you look cool. It doesn't go like that. This goes on top. Or you're doing that and then pull it up. There you go. You look stunning. It's like your little knee in. Boom. You're good. Look at me. Look up and smile. Let me see. Golden. Go outside. You can see Grandpa. Go look at Grandpa. All right, Mr. You want to jump? You want to chip? Go ahead, chip. So make sure you put him on the other table. <laughs> look at you. Let me see Andrew. Whoa, look at you. You oh, look like a great security guy. He's a little ultimate warrior. Look at him. <laughs> 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 looks like a WWE star. <laughs> Alright, you guys done? Nice. That was a good picture. Here, Andrew. I was probably like 15. I mean, that was back in like the MySpace days. It's like you would just go on and you'd find people and you know, I had this cute little blonde chick popped up. <laughs> I was like, oh, this girl's cute. <laughs> Hit the little like button, the add button. And by chance, you know, I was riding my bike around at the Italian ice place and I was like, hey, look, I know that girl. So I just went up to her and I was like, hey, you're Taryn Boyle. And she's like, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm Richard Police. And then it was like, boom, that was it. From like then on, it was like, all right, it's Taryn and Andrew. Five years of friends, and then once I had a chance, I like locked it in. <laughs> she was the one. I mean, you could ask my mother. I would, I would have dreams of this girl. I'd call her name at night. And she wanted to do stuff. She wasn't like one of those boring girls that like wanted to sit there. She's like, yeah, sure. Let's ride bikes. Let's go do something. So I would call her up. We'd hop in the car and just drive. We'd drive all over. You know, Montauk's the furthest point to go. We would literally drive out there and sit in the lighthouse parking lot. Just hang out. Talk about nothing. And it was great. <laughs> When I first met Andrew, I think I was very, very shy. I mean, I've always been really shy. I loved his energy because he was like the typical boy. He was doing like the flips on his bike and everything. Like he was really cool. He is very proud of who he is. Andrew definitely has fed me all of his security and confidence. The turning point in Andrew and I's relationship, it was when I moved to Texas. We talked every single day. He was at work and he was clocking in, talking to me the entire time. We had time apart, you know, she moved away and there was always other people, this and that. The desire to be with her never stopped, from day one. She always got the call, even when I was supposed to call, you know. Still call, like, hi, I'm still here, <laughs> yeah. I would drop everything on a whim, the second she called. I think I just had like a hole in my heart and I just had to go back home. We hung out every single day and then I kind of told him, what are we doing? Are we friends still or are we not friends still? Because if we're not friends still, I would like a title. Then he was like, yeah, you're my girlfriend. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Cool. I don't believe in it too much, but we're definitely destined to be with each other. I mean, there's been so much stuff and over time we're still here, you know. All it took was one click on, you know, online and now, you know, 20 years later, we're still together. Opposites attract. You know, she's such a nice, sweet, caring person. You know, she cares about the world, everything, the kids, and you know, I'm pretty much a grumpy guy, so you know, I'm pretty straightforward. So she definitely makes me see the light in things. I've seen Andrew mature through fatherhood, for sure. Um, he kind of turned more from this hard, reckless teenager to this teddy bear dad. Getting married during the coronavirus sucks. <laughs> you know, we had this big, you know, gorgeous wedding planned. You know, just, it's rough on everyone. But we make best, you know, we're putting the backyard together. We're gonna make a cool yard, you know, finish everything. Kind of give her like a scaled down dream wedding, a dream party. He fades, it 
made my vision crystal clear If I miss my destination Well that's alright with me Cause now there's somewhere else I gotta be well, Even if I met you in another life Still feel like I would end up with you You got this kind of energy that makes me smile I just want to settle down with you, my man, go, your man. <laughs> now I got to say, it's about time, you know, 11 years, five years, kids, I mean, about time. <laughs> They're here today with the world upside down, having rushed to put the backyard together and, and do what they did so we can all be here today. Andrew, you are a great father, and I am so proud to become your wife. Um, now, when I share the name Felice, it means a lot more. And now there's finally four of us. We made it. I mean, for real. I love you, and I'm happy. We're going to grow old and just be together, me and you, and the little boys over there. The wedding ceremony has ended. They are husband and wife. So you make this the Still, we're still two dumb kids, just you know, just driving along. You know, wherever the road takes us, we're going. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs>